Bank and the government have swung into action after a security breach at one private bank's ATM that was compromised uh, confidential uh, financial data at 19 banks as well. So 641 complaints have been made to the Payments Corporation with complaints of fraudulent transactions worth about 1.3 crore rupees. Ritu Singh, who's been tracking all the developments very, very closely, joins us with the latest update. Tell us, Ritu. Well, uh, both the Finance Ministry, the Government and the Reserve Bank of India have obviously swung into action following reports of a security, uh, data security breach uh, at 19 banks which have been impacted. So far, 641 complaints amounting, uh, amounting to an, uh, you know, a total sum of about 1.3 crores, yet uh, it is the largest financial fraud uh, of this nature that has ever happened in the country. Uh, the Finance Ministry uh, has asked the Reserve Bank of India to submit a report uh, and we understand that the Reserve Bank of India has already made a preliminary report on the matter, uh, which it is in discussions with the Finance Ministry for. The Finance Ministry ha has also ordered a forensic uh, audit, which of course, as we reported, the Payments Corporation of India is looking into. In fact, they have appointed Bangalore-based CISA uh, to submit this financial audit a report by the end of the month. In the meantime, the Reserve Bank of India is also uh, individually speaking with the banks. We understand uh, cyber security is something that, they e that was even brought up uh, at the Reserve Bank of India's board meeting just yesterday uh, but for now uh, these are the updates uh, as far as all the regulatory bodies are concerned they're obviously working in close coordination with MasterCard Visa and Rupee uh, to try to get to the helm of uh, to the bottom of this issue we have called for report from the Reserve Bank of India as well as from the banks about the details of what exactly has happened and uh, after getting the report uh, whatever action is required necessary action will be taken by the government from the stability point of view of the economy this is an important issue so we will also after getting the report uh, perhaps uh, i can uh, sort of say that perhaps it will also be discussed in the fsdc meeting to review the matter comprehensively and to give uh, directions to all the banks public and private sector banks and other financial institutions to take uh, further action all right so that's